Good morning, guys. I'm in my husband's man cave today. He's not gonna like it, but adding a little flair to our lives. We are obviously Chiefs fans. But we're gonna do a 20 minute no repeat workout. That'll be 30 seconds each of the rounds. Um, you'll hear the timer go off. Grab water if you need to. Um, we'll, I stretched before this, so definitely stretch. I'm just going to jump right into it because I did already stretch. I'm going to be using fives and one pound weights for some moves. So um, anywhere from one up to 10 or 30 or whatever, however strong you are. But let's get to this tonic so we don't have these granny arms. I'm going to turn on my timer. First, I'm going to grab me some water because I like to be hydrated. I got my polar watch on. We're gonna go for 20 minutes, and like I said, I will I'll also let you know what calories we burn. So get our timer going. First, we're gonna do the bicep curl. And these are slow movements. We're not gonna rush when it comes to weights. I don't believe in that. It's just gonna curl for 30 seconds. Hopefully everybody has not been watching the news as much. I know it's hard not to, but it's crazy, y'all. Don't do it. Just believe in God. Trust God and watch it for entertainment. Don't stress about it. Take your rest. I've intentionally not watched it. We're going to do some... We're going to work the back of our arms. So we're going to do some ro upward rows next but yeah i've intentionally not watched it i just i'm not gonna do it because it, it gives me too much anxiety and stress that i don't need and if i say i believe in god i gotta stand on that so that's what i stand on all right make sure your feet are shoulder width apart as you can see i do not do this for monetary purposes clearly because YouTube flagged me for my music but I just like working out to music and I am not like I said I'm not doing this for monetary purposes so I'm going to keep my music now alright rest <clears throat> so yeah I'm going to grab my lighter weights because when I do my shoulders I don't like putting too much pressure on my, sh on your, my shoulders, but it's yours. You know, do what you can. We're gonna sit with the shoulders for a little bit since I got my light ones. I like to get them out of the way. The key is working the thing that you like to work the least. Let's get started. She shoulder pads. The thing that you like to work the least is what you start off with. That's what they say. Move back some. So, I start off with my shoulders first. I can do bicep curls all day. The shoulders are definitely not my favorite thing at all. So, I get those out of the way. So, hopefully everybody's been, hopefully everybody's been having a good new year. And it's like I said, not getting stressed. Let's see. Heart rate, calories are bumping, even though we're not like doing cardio or anything, we are doing resistance training, which is super important. I'll say it a million times, I'm over 40 and muscle, we lose muscle after 35, your muscle mass starts going away, I think 65%. Next, we're gonna do these, it's supposed to be elbow touches, but you do the best you can, but this works your shoulders and that under granny arm, which I despise granny arm, so. My husband's man came is pretty nice, huh? You gotta let your man have a part of the house that he wants to decorate, so. This is his little domain, you know. 
Next, we're going to do the rotator cuff, which is super important. Um, we And I do it with lightweight as well. It's a muscle that doesn't get worked a lot, but it's very important. So we're going to do, you're going to put your arms up 90 degree angle and you're just going to open out. Both shoulders, you know, when you sleep at night, lifting things on our moms and stuff, constantly lifting, carrying, and as ladies, like, you gotta keep your shoulders, plus we carry a lot of things on our shoulders, so, strong, healthy shoulders are important, strong shoulders are important. Shoulders are my least favorite thing to work, but it is, they are super important, so, I like them. I work and we're five minutes in, guys. We only got 15 minutes, so I hope you're having some fun listening to this copyrighted music that I don't have the rights to. But yeah. So, next we're gonna do uh, just bringing our arms forward, still on the shoulders. And it's all about being slow, like, I do cardio too, but you don't have to cardio yourself today. The more muscle you have, the more fat you burn. And that's a fact, Google that. And like I said, I'm down six pounds this week, um, which I'm on track to do. Um, my in injection is a thousand times better. I only have a little pain at night, so I'm pulling it really good and strong. And uh, yeah on track to get it together. I'm gonna do some scoops next with the shoulders since we still have these light weights. So, let's get to that here pretty soon. If you can't tell, I do myself on the fly. I, just, <laughs> I don't write down and all that stuff. It's not that important. I've done enough routines to know what's what. So just sit down and just scoop. Oh man. When you come up, if you're doing your squat properly and not and you don't have to go deep in the squats, you will feel it in your abs, especially if you're closing, clenching those cheeks. So I haven't been on social media, but I've been hearing about the whole Kanye Kim stuff. Wild. That's a whole nother conversation. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I love being a normal person. And I mean, I can imagine being famous and having to deal with all that mess. Just, like I said, yeah, wow. I'm gonna do some punches next. Make sure you pivot and plant that foot. I'm gonna grab some water after this. One, because I'm talking the whole time. And two, because I believe in drinking water. I don't know how people go through their all workout with no water. And I'm sure that's where a lot of my water weight comes from, but hey. But positives of it, it keeps, I'm gonna grab my fives too, so grab your heavier weights. The positive side of it is that it keeps my skin young. So, you know, if water weight makes you a little chunkier, at least you have good skin. And at, at, at over 40, that was what becomes important, skin and hair at this point. We're gonna do tricep and sit. So we're just gonna sit down and come up. And if you don't have any weights, don't, you don't have to use it. If you're a thicker girl like me, lifting your body is a lot of weight. So the weight is just the added resistance. It just gets you toned. Then you can work your way up to it and listen to your body. I've done a lot of classes and a lot of boot camps and they be doing some crazy stuff. And if your body is like, ouch 
listen to your body. I can work out every single day because I do something different every single day and I listen to my body. I don't keep going. Like if, if I don't feel as good, if something is pulling, I stop and do something else. And that's something I learned. I'm gonna do tricep kick back neck. Yeah, you have to listen to your body. Do not try to be a hero. I mean, look, I can get down here right now and do some push-ups and show you that I can do man push-ups. That's not, it's not a problem of being able to. It's like, for me, if you want to stay healthy and be able to work out, you want to stay healthy and be able to work out every day, then you need to make sure that you are keeping your body, like, don't, listening to your body. Don't try to do too much. Don't try to lose weights too fast. Do it at your pace. It's all about progression. And we're, this is a, a marathon. It's not a sprint. Nipsey. <laughs> we're going to do some ab work next. Lawnmowers and some, well, wood chop. And you can drop one of your weights if you want. I just keep it. Cause we're gonna do the other side next. These have been fun doing. Of course, I'm not like when I see myself on camera. I hate my voice. I hate like it all. But this is me. And that's the thing, good thing about being on social media. I'm not comparing myself to like people like this is just me. I just been looking at me. It sounds a little conceited, but it's about self-love, guys. You gotta love yourself first before you can go out and love somebody else. And that is a whole other conversation too that we will have one day. We're doing our left side. This works the arms, the sides, you know. Alright. Heart rate is progressing nicely. And we're up to to um, 60 calories, which is good for not moving. So that's good. We're going to do some squat thrust next. On our breaks, you know, just move side to side or whatever you want to do on your break. Alright, let's see here. Like I said, slow with that squat. Don't come down fast. Keep that knee behind your ankle when you sit back. I know for my ankle, it probably doesn't seem like I am, but I am. And if you can't go all the way down on the squat, don't. But squats are important if you want to keep that booty up. So, especially during quarantine, I hate squats like the next man, but. Uh, it's good to keep that butt up, <laughs> especially if you're sitting down a lot. Gotta have a strong gluteus maximus. Looks good in your pants too. We're gonna do some uppercut stacks, which will work our biceps and our core. So we'll be twisting it all up. Good thing. So let's go. That's like your hitting somebody in the gut. A lot of people are scared to say punch somebody because it's violent, but hey, even if it's the devil, like there's some people that you got hit in the gut. Hit, hit it in the gut. Depression in the gut. Anxiety in the gut. Hit it in the gut. Like, time out for all that little baby talk. Like, you know beat that stuff up because if you don't face stuff 
life will beat you up. If you act like everything's fine and handy all the time, guess what? It'll beat the heck out of you. So don't. We're going to do a side lunge and neck, and then we're going to come up straight. Heart rate still feeling good. And we're literally almost at five minutes left, guys. So when you come down on your side lunge, make sure your opposite leg that's not lunging is straight. That way, you should feel it in your inner thighs, which are very important. They asked me how I made it. My God, don't lose effort. Next, we're going to work, and I'm going to swap out my weights, get a lighter one. I'm going to go back to work in the back of my arms because some things get neglected. He always wins. Alright, so shorter width apart and just going to come up and down. Going to really, like I said, work the back of my arms. Kind of do a little twist the back of your arms like you feel that body part when you're doing it like you know how far you need to twist out listen to your body I mean you don't need anybody to tell you when your body is doing this or that let's see where we are at yep we are under Five minutes, guys, so that is cool. So, next, we're gonna do my favorite, which is the rope, the imaginary rope, which that works your core, legs, and everything. So, it's just gonna go up and down like a wave. This is gonna be like that. Feeling slow with it because we do have weights. I normally would go faster, but slow is good too because you'll work every part. You're working your back, your arms, your butt, your abs, your legs, your chest, it all. I think that's why these things are really good and cool. And if you have, I will do a kettlebell workout. I do have a kettlebell. I do like those. Those are great for your abs and everything else above you don't have to do what I'm doing if you have light weights that when you do this this is really good for your core next we're going to just do crisscrosses chest, working a little bit of those shoulders as well. Alright, and I think I'm going to go back to my bicep steps here, take this on out of here. And we're just going to do that front curl that different kind of angle with your biceps gives you a little more definition if you're ever lucky enough to see them perfectly. I can kind of see my biceps so I'm encouraged to keep going. So it's all, it's all hitting under there under all this quarantine winter fat. Come up and above your shoulder a little bit, but definitely keep the arms to your sides. Another move that doesn't get done enough, and if we have time, we can look at a little clock here, is a wrist exercise for our, for the for the typers out there. 
Grab a drink. Yeah, we only have 40 seconds left. So for the last one, we're gonna do this wrist exercise once our timer starts. It's really good. It's like the young jock motorcycle thing, but for me, I type for a living part of one of my job functions. So really good for your wrist. Slow. Look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. I love this song. This has been fun. It's been therapeutic for me. I've kept on my off of social media thing. Barely made it over in the news thing because obviously it all HELL was breaking loose yesterday, but. I did it. We did it. Thank you for watching. Um, I, my muscles is there. Like when I get back on social media, I'm gonna show you guys how skinny I used to be. Actually, I do have a picture. This is me and my honey bunny. And that was, you know, and that was just three years ago. So. I mean, it's not too far out of reach, guys. Like, just because I'm gonna put this here because it makes me happy. Just because you're older, don't give up. I still got my muscles, so I can still do this. We can still do this. We're in this together. Stay strong, stay positive, people, and stay blessed.